I go by race and I am part of Apache from San Carlos, Arizona. We're at the shoot on my new music video, Classy Girl. That's an album, new version of Old Soul. Uh, well, Ricardo and George, the directors for today, uh, I've known them for a few years. So I knew to expect something high quality. But yeah, walking in here today was definitely like kind of seeing it all come full circle. So Classy Girl, I think as far as the album, a uh, new version of Old Soul, like Classy Girl is pretty much the only super mainstream sounding song. For me it was it was interesting recording it because Praise was messing around while we were in the studio and he was singing it like a nasty girl hook and I was like, nah man, that's a bad look. Like I can't I can't do that. We ended up working it out to be, well let's make it classy girl and then the, like you hear a nasty girl, but it's more subtle and it's more it's more respectable. So for me it was kind of playing with that idea of making something marketable but still being conscious to who I am as an MC. To me, classy girl isn't necessarily the chick all done up with a bunch of makeup on trying to to get all the free drinks and all the attention she can. Classy girl in this case is the waitress. So you're seeing me build up this momentum of trying to get her attention, she's trying to get my attention, but we also have an antagonist that's trying to pull me away and she is more of the typical chick at the club trying to get with the rapper or trying to get with whoever's you know, on at the moment. But everything it was more or less very seriously geared toward respecting the women involved. She went to Germany in 2013, but I was still in school. And so for my final exam, my teacher had me do my entire project based on the five elements of hip hop, as well as how that integrated into my own life and my own experience. And I thought, well, you know, this is pretty much what I want to make my lifestyle. When we're talking about the five elements, I was all about the graffiti back in the day. And that's kind of what got me into emceeing. We got b-boys, we got graffiti, and then you see DJ Mystic. I told him, you know, I really want to make sure we have a turntable is here because it is more of a marketable song and to still be able to cut it up like that is something people aren't going to expect. And then my boy Josiah Flash actually just happens to be a beatboxer alongside being able to MC. He was definitely like tying in the last. That was definitely for me where I feel like everything came together on its own.